Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a clip of Marissa Matthews saying that bullying on TikTok made her gain 50 pounds. She goes on to say that she hasn't changed the way that she's eaten at all, but she's gained 50 pounds from bullying. We're also going to be taking a look at a few bonus clips from this same creator. Did you know that I have a second channel where I react to things that are not related to fat acceptance? It's called Cynical Reacts. I recently released a video on that channel about a woman who tried to run over her ex-husband with a car and then tried to bite the police when they were arresting her. Here's a link. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. She's going to be responding to this comment that reads, The visceral fat can be quite concerning health-wise. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. For the millionth time, stop commenting on other people's bodies. Stop giving me unwanted health advice. Stop giving me unsolicited health advice. Stop commenting on my body. Unwanted and unsolicited health advice. You follow me, yet you're being fat phobic. Being fat phobic and giving fat people unwanted health advice when they never f asked for it, guess what? Causes stress. And what does stress do? Makes you live a long, happy life. Make people keep on the weight. I'm at least 50 pounds heavier than I was when I started TikTok. That's a lot of stress. I would argue that how you react to the stress is what matters. Some people stress eat, so of course they put on weight or keep the weight or whatever. Other people don't eat when they're stressed out, so they actually lose weight during times of high stress. And because of all of the bullying, I am fatter now. Okay, so you've been self-soothing with food because people have been bullying you, and it's caused you to gain weight. Of course, it wasn't the stress or the bullying itself that made you put on weight. There's no calories in bullying. Have my eating habits changed? Literally, no. Then how did you gain weight? Literally, how? So again, for the millionth f time, stop commenting on my body and stop giving me unwanted health advice. It's not nice that people bully you and they shouldn't and it's not helping you at all, but the idea that you're putting on weight because of the bullying is real silly. The more we disconnect ourselves from ownership of our own physique, the less control of it we will have. That's what I've been saying a lot lately. It may make you feel better to distance yourself from ownership of your own body, but then you're worse off in the long run because you have no ownership in your own physique. All of you and you today are causing me mental and physical harm. Nobody's causing you any physical harm. They shouldn't make fun of you the way that they do. Honestly, people go after Marissa a little nutty, but it's not causing you physical harm. You're physically harming yourself by soothing with these substances in response to the words that people have said. Stop it. That phobia is not welcomed on this page for the millionth f time. <laughs> so either unfollow me or I will block you. Now have a good day. How dare you? All right, well, let me reiterate a point that I've made countless times. You can't control what people say to you, but you can control how you react to it. People shouldn't be bullying you, but if they do, you don't have to go self-soothe with whatever type of substance that makes you put on weight, fast food, junk food, whatever. It's fine to call people out for being jerks to you, but to try to blame them for your own physique is pretty silly. Next. All right, she's going to be responding to this comment that reads, A lot of you young women think, OMG, he's going to snatch me up. He'd have to be able to physically pick you up. You'll be fine. So, we're going to talk about this because your comment, like, really frustrates me on a number of levels, whether it's misogyny, fat phobia, but what have you. So, let's just stop telling me or other women how we feel, okay? Right? Like, that's just not a cool thing to do. One, no, I don't think that people are going to just snatch me up. I'm completely aware of how fat I am. Okay. This is an interesting conversation thus far. And part of the reason why I'm fat and why I stay fat is so that I don't get kidnapped or that I don't get hit on as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would hate to get hit on, too. Um, that would be real annoying. Okay, alternate title, Marissa Matthews stays obese on purpose so that she doesn't get hit on. Okay, 
This is a new and interesting take that I don't believe we've quite heard before. We've heard people say it's my natural defense mechanism or whatever, but she's saying that she puts on weight on purpose so that she doesn't get hit on by men. Literally, that is why. I f hate male attention unless it comes with... Unless it comes with money? What the hell? What are you talking about? I hate male attention unless it comes with... Right. Um, are you overcompensating because you haven't got a whole lot of male attention? So you're like lashing out in this type of way. I don't want male attention unless it comes with money. You guys are not good for anything except for money. I've been hardened by life. Are we doing that thing where we reject everybody else before they can reject us to spare our soft, gooey insides? You're just like a crab, man. You're hard on the outside, but you're gooey, squishy, soft on the inside. You're trying to be tough to spare your feelings, but you've got feelings. Shut up. I only want male attention when it comes with money. How many men are giving you attention and then just showering you with money or whatever? I don't know how many dudes are just giving people money anymore, especially these days. Times are tough. If I'm into somebody, I'm not giving them any money. And the second that they ask for money or act like they want money out of me, we're done. You failed the test. Bye. <laughs> hey, get it? So I Right, nobody wants attention from the people that they're into, right? Like, I'm into women. It, oh man, that would really suck if women gave me attention. I only want attention from women if it comes with money. Because I've been hurt so much by women, clearly. I actively don't lose weight, partly for that reason. Right? I thought you gained weight from the bullying, though. That's what you said in the last video. Now you're saying you gained weight on purpose because you don't want male attention. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Also, haven't you said before that you are a lady of the night for work? So literally none of these statements go together at all. I don't like male attention, therefore I gained a bunch of weight. But I'm also a lady of the night who sells her body for money. But also, I actually gained weight from all the bullying. What? Which of these statements is true, if any? A lady of the night who gained weight because she doesn't want male attention. Um. <laughs> but it all came from bullying. Shut up! None of these stories go together, Marissa. Stop it. Right? My life is so much more peaceful. Why I go out in public literally like this so that people don't talk to me. What do you mean literally like this? You mean I the way that you look and dress normally? You sure this isn't just how you dress? This is literally you trying to stop people from paying attention to you or something? Back to my other thought. Um, if I were to ever get kidnapped, at least three people would have to grab me, right? If I was going to get kidnapped, three people would have to grab me. I um, or one person with a weapon, I suppose, you know. At least. And I already have her little routine in case it happens. Okay. Do you care to show us your little anti-kidnapping routine? And I'm not trying to make fun of the concept of people being kidnapped at all, of course. Obviously, I don't think that's funny. I just think that this is a very bizarre display. Not gonna tell you though. But Oh, you're not gonna show us your anti-kidnapping routine? Damn it. I'll show you my anti sea bear circle if you show me your anti-kidnapping stop, drop, and roll maneuver or whatever the hell it is. Dang it! I really wanted to see what the hell that maneuver was. She's like, when somebody goes to kidnap me, I just go dead weight. That's one you could try. You ever go to like pick up your kid and they just go dead weight on you like, Ugh. or you used to do that when you were younger to your siblings or whatever, just go dead weight where you just like become heavier. You're just like, Ugh. we're going to, we're going to go back to your other comment that you said. And you said something along the lines of, I think you'll be safe. Can you tell? Is that how they said it? I've watched crime shows since I've been nine. Now, I understand okay. where you're coming from because you're like coming from a bad place, right? Also, thank you for thinking that I'm young. <laughs> Skincare is working, apparently. <sighs> okay, let's continue. Anyway, back to my main point, is that if this is how you think, like, essay and any of that sort of stuff, and like, sex assault and harassment, if you think- 
Why would you say essay and then say the words actual assault or whatever? The whole point of saying essay is to not say those words. What are we doing? That it is purely based on appearance and what you look like, then you really have absolutely no concept of what it is or what it's about and what it really comes down to. It you just got done saying yourself that it would take three people to move you or whatever. So you're reiterating what this person said, like completely. They're like, oh, don't worry. You're too big to be snatched up. I think you'll be fine. And then you said, yeah, that's why I stay large so nobody can snatch me up. And now you're saying, that's not what it's about. It's not about your size and it's not about being attracted to somebody. I don't know, but you're talking out of both sides of your neck at the same time. It comes down to power. It doesn't matter what someone looks like. Okay, well then why did you say all that dumb crap a minute ago? <laughs> yes, it could be a factor, but it doesn't matter what someone looks like. And also, I really don't understand why you would also say, Oh, you'll be safe. Um, no one's gonna snatch you up. Yeah, nobody might snatch me up, but I could get assaulted out in public. Yeah. Like, do you not, like, maybe not with my loud voice because I all fucking scream. That might be your biggest defense right there. Um, just be loud as hell, and then maybe people will just be like, you know what, dude? Uh, this seems like more work than it's worth. And also, I have been essayed multiple times. Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that in my past so obviously it's a going to be on my radar it's part of my experience as a woman there's a reason why a lot of women are hyper vigilant it's because something has happened to them before or they don't want it to happen to them to begin with i think everybody should be hyper vigilant in general there's a lot of creepy weirdos out there dude stay safe don't trust anybody so and it's unfortunate but that's the world we live in instead of being ignorant and fat phobic and having absolutely no understanding of what essay is and what it comes down to. Just be quiet and stop talking over women's experiences. Uh, that was a really weird phrasing right there. I don't think that they're talking over women's experiences. What they said is definitely dumb, you know? There's a reason why you do it. Because again, you're trying to assert your power here, except you, it, which is ironic because you don't understand the power of involved with essay, which, I don't know if this person is trying to exert their power or they're just a dumbass, you know? A question that I've been struggling with my entire life is, is everybody an asshole or are they just stupid? And my experience thus far is that the vast majority of the time, it's the latter. They're just stupid. They're not trying to be jerks. They're just literally dumb. So hopefully that little bit of wisdom helps you. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of jerks too. And some of these people are both jerks and stupid <laughs> but just pay close attention to how dumb everybody is it explains a lot out there in society and that's not to say that i'm some kind of genius blah, blah, blah. my point is people like you and anyone who's watching who might have the same opinion like stop talking over women stop using that dumb phrase that you thought was all deep and poignant stop talking over women you heard that somewhere didn't you yes you did it's not gonna get you laid and it's not gonna get you anything positive from women. If It's not gonna get me laid? This is how you think of us, and this is how you see our experiences. It's not gonna end well. And for any woman who has gotten this comment a bunch of times, I feel you, I am with you, I am frustrated with you, and it's annoying that we have to deal with this shit online and in person. I'm gonna agree that it's a dumb comment. It's fairly insensitive, you know, to say like, oh, you'll never be essayed, you're too fat, nobody could pick you up, like, that's kind of dumb. Kind of an insult to the various people that have been essayed, that are living in larger bodies or whatever. It's not fair and we shouldn't have to live like this. So have a nice day, but also don't come again. Have a nice day, but don't come again. All right, so she talked out of both sides of her neck and that, like I said, but her overall point was that it's dumb to say that larger people can't be essayed. I'm gonna have to agree with that point. Um, it is dumb. People of any size can be essayed and people of all sizes have been essayed. So it's a real dumb argument, pretty insensitive. Next. A brand not making something in your size or any of their items in your size is valid and is a reason to critique said brand. Not really. You're critiquing them on a size that they don't even make instead of critiquing the sizes that they do make. Especially when this behavior is a pattern exhibited by most brands in our reality. In our reality. 
I don't think it's exclusionary at all for a brand to not make every single size that exists. If I have a store where I sell shot glasses and just shot glasses, does that mean that I have it out for regular types of cups? If you came to my store that sells nothing but shot glasses, looking for a regular size cup, and then getting upset that I don't have it, you would be quite the silly ass because I specialize in shot glasses. I don't hate people that drink out of regular size cups. I just have a store that sells shot glasses. I'm a guy that likes to sell people shot glasses. That's my jam. So, um, of course, I don't have other size cups. I don't expect a bunch of toddlers to come in here picketing because I'm not selling those sippy cups that can't fall over or whatever. What kind of technology is in that? Oh, my God, that's crazy. But either way, I sell shot glasses. All other type of cups need not get angry <laughs> at me for not selling them. Especially when this continued behavior of intentionally excluding the majority of women. They're not excluding the majority of women. If the average woman is a size 14 to 16, I guarantee you that you'll find that size in most clothing outlets. Results in a level of systemic discrimination mm. against a group of people. Mm -hmm. So yes, yep, you're does. allowed to critique. Oh, sorry. I mean, you're allowed to sh talk brands who are discriminating against a group of people. They're not discriminating against anybody. They just didn't specifically make a product for you. Leo Skeppy said he has a size 16 foot and he can rarely find that shoe size anywhere. Are all those brands discriminating against him who don't make said shoe? No, obviously. You're allowed to question fat phobia. So yes, you are allowed to criticize, critique, or sh talk fat phobia that we see in our reality. So I okay, well, a brand not making your size, isn't it, sis? I wonder, when marginalized people bring up the issues that they experience in their group and community... Mm, marginalized. I would choose a different word if I was in this group. I'd be like, could we stop using a word that sounds so close to margarine? Maybe we could say, like excluded group or not catered to or something. Let's stop calling ourselves marginalized. Is that always talking or just when fat people or um, socially unacceptable people speak up? Um, I don't know. I don't think anybody cares, you know. Just wondering. Thank you. All right, so that was another classic, you don't make our size, so you're discriminating against us video. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the final bonus clip and I have saved the best for last. All right, she's gonna be responding to this comment that reads, Jesus, no. She says, Jesus, yes. It hits us with some of this. Okay, a little belly slapping. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my God! <laughs> Hold on, man. I'm gonna have to see that little maneuver again. Hold on. Right about here. What in the world was that? And can you teach me it? I see that you have a very deep and strong passion for the art of dance. Can you teach me? I've been living a very sheltered life, free from dance. I need to be able to communicate with this new medium. Oh, come on. Oh, why? Why'd you have to go there? Stop it, Marissa. All right, now let's read her caption. It says, just because I don't turn you on, just because you're fat phobic, or just because you don't see every person as being beautiful in their own way, doesn't mean you should comment rude shit to strangers on the internet. You're allowed to continue on with your day without spewing hatred into the world in case you didn't know. Jesus, yes. All right, now let me see that again from start to finish. This has copyrighted music, so let me just do it. Right here it goes. Dun, 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 like the way you kiss me. Let me know you miss me. Da, 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 da. Oh, Marissa, what the hell? And then this angle right here. This is very, very good times. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what in the world, bro? What in the world? All right, Marissa, thank you for that. Um, Jesus, yes. I'm going to have to agree. Jesus, yes. So what do you think of the clips that we just saw? Will bullying on TikTok make you gain 50 pounds? Will being morbidly obese protect you from being S.A.'d? Sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of that topic or anything like that. 
and Jesus, yes. What do you think of that last clip? <laughs> Leave a comment below. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.